Hey, Florida Travelers, Krista here. And if you're visiting Daytona Beach, I'm gonna tell you why you should definitely consider adding a tour to the Daytona International Speedway to your day, even if you're not a race fan. Let's get into it. The Daytona International Speedway is an iconic landmark in Daytona Beach and home to the great American race, the Daytona 500. Every day starting at 9.30, the Daytona International Speedway also offers a daily tour that you can take all around this historic racetrack. The ticket office opens at 9 a.m. and if you are thinking about going, don't be like me and get lost trying to find which ticket window you need to go to. So where do you go? When you're approaching the Daytona International Speedway from Orlando, you'll want to pass under the Daytona Beach sign and the entrance that you want will be the first one on your right. Once you've turned into the speedway, you're gonna take a left. What you're gonna wanna look for is this Daytona International Speedway Tours Daily sign. And you'll be able to get your tickets in this building here. Once you've found the correct ticket office, it's straightforward from here. The price for the Daytona International Speedway is $22 for adults and $17 for kids. The tours last for about an hour and they tour you all around the speedway in this tram like this. We went on a Sunday morning and made it for the very first tour of the day, which is at 9.30. If you are able to make it to the Speedway this early, I highly recommend it because our group was so much smaller than the rest of the groups that came behind us. We were also lucky enough to have a really great tour guide named Lou. Not only was Lou incredibly knowledgeable, but his enthusiasm for the Speedway was infectious. By the way, if you're finding this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to get more ideas like this to do in my beautiful state of Florida. I have to admit, I'm not really much of a race fan, but I have been wanting to tour the new Daytona International Speedway Stadium just out of curiosity, and I have to say, this stadium is amazing. On the day that we visited, there were cars on the racetrack, which was awesome. And we got to watch them speed by as you were taking the tour around. The downside to having cars on the track was that our driver wasn't able to drive us on the track itself and allow us to get out on the start line and walk the slope of the embankment. But the upside to it was that we were able to have this awesome experience of being right next to a couple of race cars as they took off. The cars on at the racetrack on the day that we went were part of the NASCAR racing experience. And if you're interested in experiencing this yourself, it starts at $299.99 for five minutes and it goes all the way up to 48 minutes for $24.49.99. They do allow you to drive in the car by yourself and you get a certificate with your top speed whenever you finish. If you have kids that love NASCAR and they want to do like a junior ride along, that's $79.99 and they'll be able to ride along with a professional driving instructor. Also during the tour is your chance to be at Victory Lane. Every car that has ever won has made its way over here and you get your chance to hang out and get your photo taken in this famous spot. The entire speedway is spread out on 500 acres of land and you'll be taken in and around the entire area with your tour guide while they tell you about what you're seeing. Like this is where the owners and drivers park their RVs and they gave us a few tips on like how you're able to grab autographs and, and how you could catch them on their way to their designated areas. We also got this awesome chance to walk through a portion of their garage and was able to get up close and personal with a couple of race cars. One of my other favorite parts of the tour was the chance to go to the top of the stadium. Unlike other sporting events where the seats closer to the action are more expensive, the tickets at the Daytona International Speedway go the opposite way. The higher you go, the more expensive and sought out those tickets are. And it's all because of this. 
look at this amazing view and you're able to see all of the action from up here. This new renovated stadium is awesome and holds 101,500 fans with room to add more in the future if needed. I believe our tour guide Lou said that from up here, the seats are equivalent of being 15 stories high. And the new seats are all individual with its own cup holder, armrest, and more leg room. Another new improvement is the addition to 40 new escalators and 17 elevators, which is a huge improvement over the rows and rows of stairs that fans used to have to climb before. The new stadium is also almost a mile long, and our tour guide said that they even had to account for the curvature of the earth as they built it. This place is massive, and we only walked through a portion of it. I was so incredibly impressed with the new stadium that my husband and I immediately went home and looked up when the next race was and how much the tickets would be. So stay tuned because we may just have to come back and experience a race in the near future. At the end of the tour, Lou dropped us off in front of the Motorsports Hall of Fame where you'll be able to see the Daytona 500's 2021 winner, Michael McDowell's number 34 Love's Truck Stop Ford Mustang, which will be on display until 2022. The rest of the Motorsports Hall of Fame showcased all forms of motorsports. Entrance into the Motorsports Hall of Fame is included in your tour, and it is self-guided so you can take as long as you want while you're walking around these amazing vehicles. They also have a movie in here that plays on repeat every 20 minutes, and they do say to allocate about an hour or so if you really do want to walk around the whole thing. One of my favorite parts was seeing this huge photo of the old Daytona beach in a road course that they had here before there was a speedway. And of course, no great attraction in Florida is not gonna be complete without a gift shop. And the Daytona International Speedway has an awesome gift shop that has all kinds of memorabilia and fan gear. I'm sure you will not have a hard time finding what you want with the right number. I myself could not help but pick up a new pin for the travel bag, which I will proudly add right here. If you were looking for more ideas on what you can do here during your Florida vacation, make sure to click on the video that just popped up on the screen. If you're looking for an entire playlist of other day trips that you can take in Central Florida, I've also included my Central Florida day trips playlist on the right. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.